It is December 9th, 2016 in Cebu City. It's a mostly sunny day, but it's raining out. Uh, we got a couple clouds up there, and uh, about two weeks ago I was going to do an update on the weather and tell you about uh, how we were getting so much more sun and looked like we were going into the dry season here in, at the end of November, going into December and it has started raining every day. Well, it doesn't rain all day. Sometimes it doesn't rain at all during the day, but it, it rains during the night. When I get up in the morning, there's lots of puddles down in the, the parking lot down there. Uh, but anyway, it appears that we're still experiencing a, a, a bit of La Nina. Uh, last year, we went through a, an El Nino where we had a drought in much of the Philippines uh, affected the rice crop and some people had to get water uh, shipped in actually but now we're getting La Nina which gives us uh, a little bit more rain than normal uh, I shouldn't use the, the term normal there's no such thing as normal weather uh, more than average and it's lasting into December a little bit longer uh, but for that matter, even during the dry months, we still doesn't mean that we don't get rain. It just means that we get less rain. It just means we get less rain than we do during the wet months. No need to be too worried, though. We are not under water yet. It is uh, interesting. When I first came here in uh, August of 2015, I met an American... Uh, from the Los Angeles area, Dennis, who uh, was coming back, been here a couple times, and was coming back to visit during the rainy season to see how he would handle the rainy season. Well, unfortunately, we, we were in the middle of a drought. Uh, El Nino was giving the Philippines a drought, less rain than normal. And uh, so he didn't, I think he was going to stay a couple weeks. He didn't really get to experience much of the rainy season. Uh, I think the pavement was wet when we arrived at the airport in uh, on Mactan Island, uh, Cebu. Uh, I don't think it rained again for about a week or so. It rained, it rained once. And my experience uh, in the 15 months that I've been here is most of the time when it rains, uh, you know, when I heard that it was the rainy season, I my picture in my mind was that it rained most days. And uh, most of the day, you know, all day long, uh, my experience has been completely different. Is that when the rain, the rain will come in, it'll it'll often be it's it's cooler weather, uh, meaning you're you're in the 80s during the day for highs, instead of the low 90s. So it feels cooler. You don't have the direct sun sunlight nearly as much. Uh, but it doesn't rain all day most of the day where I live in Cebu City anyway. The, the rain would come, it would rain hard for about 20 to 30 minutes. It may or may not uh, rain a little lighter for another 20 or 30 minutes, and then you're done for the day. Uh, occasionally, a little later in the day or during the evening, uh, it would do the same thing. It would come in, rain a little bit, and it would go away. Uh, so you can pretty much go about your your plans now. If you're going to uh, if you're going to plan something where you don't want to get wet, it's a little more difficult. But uh, the forecasters are pretty good, it seems, at uh, looking at a couple days ahead, telling you whether you're going to get rain or not, what your percent of chance is. Uh, so anyway, when you hear the the rainy season, uh, I don't think you have to be afraid of that. Uh, there again, my experience is that I probably handle the weather here in the Philippines better than I have in uh, Houston, Texas, in Georgia, Florida, uh, the, the southeast uh, humid states of the United States of America. And I've had many people that have lived there who have visited the Philippines tell me the same thing, that they adapt better over here, they handle the weather better over here uh, than back in the, the uh, southeastern states of the U.S., uh, I talked a little bit about La Nina being here and uh, lasting, in fact, uh, today, which is uh, December 12th. Usually December is, is the start of our dry season. 
uh, the one of the headlines in the Philippine Inquirer uh, newspaper was that, uh, in fact, uh, La Nina was here and would probably last uh, into the first quarter of 2017. La Nina being the system that gives us above average rain uh, into January and February, probably. And uh, it's hard to quantify that, but... Uh, and what that means is that where we would normally have more dry days, we're going to have a few more wet days. Uh, I went through at least a couple months uh, during our rainy season this year where it would rain for an hour or so for maybe two days. And then we would have uh, three days without any rain. We'd have a couple days where it would rain there again, hard for 20 minutes. Uh, and it would stop and uh, do that for a couple days in a row. Then we'd have two or three days with no rain. So that was my experience with, uh, with our rainy season this year. I've had uh, one person tell me, well, that's not normal. That's not average. Well, uh, weather is not normal. You know, every year it's a little bit different. And there may be times uh, throughout the various years that there's been more rain longer rain and more days with rain and obviously that only makes sense that that's going to happen but uh, that's my experience i'm going to show you a little bit of uh, everybody's favorite thing a little historical data tell you a little bit a little bit about the uh small typhoon that we experienced here just a couple weeks ago came through the middle of the Viseas. uh oh man i tell you marcy was the name typhoon marcy i i stayed up till 2 30 in the morning uh, waiting for all that excitement to happen. So I'll show you that path and tell you a little more about that. The black arrow in the middle of the screen there, that is pointing at Marcy as it heads towards the, the center of the Philippines. So it comes right through the Cebu area. Uh, it actually, I think the winds were 35 to uh, 55 kilometers per hour. Uh, it came across... Uh, it really didn't amount to much where I was, and I don't think there was much damage. Uh, some places got uh, a little more rain. And once it got past uh, the Visayas, it turned north. It didn't follow the path that they had projected. It turned north and went up, went up along the side of uh, the Philippines, up along the west side of, uh, of uh, Luzon. And I don't think it uh, threw some extra rain in there, I think, but not really anything in the way of damage that I heard of. Now here is a map of the four climate types of the Philippines. I've done another video uh, several months ago. I think it's called uh, uh, Philippines Weather, You Like It or Not. And uh, went into a little more depth, but uh, uh, there are different climate zones here. Uh, some places get uh, rain all year. Some places uh, have uh, dry seasons, wet seasons, and some in between. Uh, why am I telling you all this? It's because most people who are planning to come here aren't aware of that. Uh, it will, you girls, all you girls who are coming here to meet your boyfriends and plan on staying a long time, uh, or you're going to some part of the, the, the Philippines to pick up boys, or you guys likewise, if you're coming here to pick up girls or you've already got a girlfriend, and you're going to come and see her and uh, move into the area that she lives in, uh, that obviously is going to have an effect on your life. Uh, is it going to rain every day? Is it, is it uh, what's the weather? What's the climate like? Anyway, you can look at that chart and uh, see how that affects you. One thing, the, uh, if you go down into the center of all those islands, there's, there's really, you know, there's, people talk about the 7,000 islands. There's really only about nine islands uh, that, that you need to be concerned about the larger islands where most of your cities are, where a lot of your provinces are. And uh, a lot of those 7,000 islands are just basically a rock sticking out of the, out of the ground. There are many smaller islands with people living on them, with tourist destinations, that type of thing. But you're, you're, most people are only going to be concerned about one or two islands uh, and uh, the, the nine bigger ones in particular. Anyway, you can take a look at that map and see where you're going to. 
and uh, get an idea what the climate is like, what the weather Half of is the, like. the uh, different regions. You have the northern islands of Luzon, northern island of Luzon. You have the central area, which is the Visayas, and you have the southern uh, big island of Mindanao. Now, most of the uh, Marcy came was unusual. Marcy uh, typhoon Marcy came came through uh, the central area and came through and uh, through the Cebu area, and then it came through here and went up the west coast of Luzon. Uh, didn't do much uh, damage at all, from what I've heard. Most typhoons uh, hit the eastern Visayas here, or more commonly, they go farther north. They hit the Bacol region here. Uh, they come up through here. Here's the national capital region, which includes Manila. Uh, they come. It's not unusual for them to come through this area. Uh, or more likely, they swerve up northwards and uh, hit the, the northern Luzon area. Uh, the islands north of the Luzon Island, the uh, Batanes Island, uh, are often on alert. I get I get uh, email alerts uh, regularly when the storms come through from Pagasa, the Philippine uh, weather predicting people uh, send out warnings about which direction and which areas are going to get the heavy rainfall. And this this northern region, oftentimes, Kagan Valley up here, uh, they'll get hit more often. Uh, it has happened where Mindanao down here in the south has, has been hit, but as you can see, these these eastern islands, uh, I live here on the island of Cebu, right there in the middle of is Cebu, or Cebu City. And these outer eastern islands help protect that area from the worst of the storms. Now, there, in 2013, there was a typhoon came through here, did a lot of damage up here and uh, down here in Leyte, and up here in Samar, especially on the uh, eastern areas, and up, up in this northern Samar area, I think, wiped out uh, uh, some villages. Uh, the north part of Cebu Island uh, got hit pretty bad. It, it uh, hit some uh, plantations up there pretty hard. Uh, so the, the typhoons uh, normally come from the east and hit the eastern sides of those islands. We also have a uh, area of a time period when we get southwest monsoons and they come up through here and it's not unusual there again for Manila to get hit up here. Uh, we'll see that's during that part of our rainy season and you'll see the clouds moving up in through this area coming up from the uh, southwest, the southwest monsoons. And it seems that uh, Ilo Ilo over here. I, I hear uh, Mike uh, from my Philippine journey. He's over here in Ilo Ilo, and I'll hear him talking about getting rain more often than what we get over here on Cebu. There again, it goes back to the different seasons in the Philippines, and I think Manila gets during the southwest monsoon. They get uh, more more of the rain from that area. Uh, right now, we've gone moved into more of a northeast monsoon type area where the, where the northeast uh, winds are coming, and it definitely has affected uh, the direction that the rain is coming to even in Cebu down here. I forget which uh, year this was, but this just gives you an idea of some of the paths that typhoons uh, take through this area. Keep in mind that the Philippines is 1,850 uh, kilometers long, or about 1,150 miles long. So it's a it's a big target, and it can affect one area, not uh, a lot of other areas. Uh, most of them go north. Many of them go up uh, towards Taiwan, and then or even swing up towards Japan further north. Uh, so I wouldn't let it scare you away, but be aware. Be aware that the eastern uh, coasts get the uh, brunt when they get close to the Philippines. Here's a couple of maps, uh, simplified maps, that show the uh, southwest monsoons that give us uh, much of our 
wet season. There again, we have various seasons in the Philippines, as well as then we switch over right now. We're in the uh, northeast monsoons, and uh, the other side of the islands are affected primarily. But it definitely affects us down here in the middle of uh, Cebu also because the wind, usually I don't get rain and, and wind onto my uh, balcony, but now that we're getting the northeast, I'm getting those easterly rains that are coming and blowing in, in, in uh, into my uh, balcony and if I have my door open, into my condo. So uh, a little bit of a simplified view, but uh, that's part of what affects us our weather here in the Philippines. I've actually uh, been using my air conditioning probably for uh, the last couple of months, very little. Uh, it's it's uh, in the evening especially. It's I often have my doors open and let the breeze come through. It's uh, probably 80 or so, but it's not uncomfortable at all. This is not me, by the way. But uh, anyway, thank you for coming along. I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about the weather and climate, what you can expect here in the Philippines. And uh, uh, keep your head above water uh, unless you're diving or snorkeling, in which case have fun and stay safe. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.